One morning, Henry was feeling very sorry for himself. Sometimes he could pull trains, but sometimes he felt he had no strength at all. I suffer dreadfully, and no one cares. Rubbish, Henry! snorted James. You don't work hard enough! The Fat Controller spoke to him too. You're too expensive, Henry. You've had lots of new parts, and you've paid too, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, we must get another engine instead of you. This made Henry, his driver, and his fireman very sad. The Fat Controller was waiting when Henry came to the platform. He had taken off his hat and coat, and put on overalls. Henry managed to start, but his fireman was not satisfied. Henry is a bad steamer, he said to the fat controller. I build up his fire, but it doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried very hard, but it was no good. He didn't have enough steam, and came to a stop outside Edward Station. Oh dear. Dear, thought Henry, I shall have to go away. Oh dear, oh dear. All he could do is to go slowly onto a siding, and Edward took charge of the train. The fat controller and fireman went on discussing Henry's trouble. What do you think is wrong, fireman? asked the fat controller. Excuse me, sir, he answered. But the fact is, the curl is wrong. We've had a poor lot lately, and today it's worse. The other engines could manage, they are big fireboxes. Henry's are small and can't meet the heat. Well, where's curl? It'd be a different engine. It's expensive, said the fat controller. But Henry must have a fair chance. James shall go and fetch some. <laughs> When the Welsh coal came, Henry's driver and fireman were excited. Now I'll show them, Henry, old fellow. They carefully made his fire, putting large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside. Then the glowy middle part was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire. Just where we want it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely, and he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? Beep beep! Whistled Henry. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking, warned the fat controller. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. Henry had a lovely day. He had never felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady, old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the station. Thomas puffed in. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry. Oh, I can't wait for tall intelligences like you. Goodbye! Whoosh! said Thomas to Annie and Clarabelle. Have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had. 